Hello my people, how are you doing? Hope you had the blazed moment of the day. So now the gist I have for you is one of the top and I know I will be always giving you the best of all the gist and what I have for you presently is all about Olaide Bakare. So you know who she is and she is a very popular um, actress, a uh, Nollywood actress and so she is um so she has also posted an appreciation um message on her official instagram page to appreciate all actors that attended her installation as ashiwa juo adine leader of religion by a uh, by an islamic group in Lagos state so Olaide bakari was installed as asiwa jew adini leader of religion by an islamic group named azibula azibu izibula international prayer outreach ministry located at ali moshalo Lagos state on the 7th of march 2021 so she actually said said uh, uh her appreciation uh, she appreciated everyone her friends families that attended this um this um coronation of her being the ashiwaju adini for the islamic um group in Lagos. state now let me just tell you briefly let me just digress to popular things you know things that actually happened that have happened in her life recently and before she become the uh, ashwaju adini which she is you know um, many times ago, it is um, controversial. Your actress Lady Bakari has been in um, an up and downs like that, in which the first she she actually remarried to another person, and there has been so many controversies regarding that that they don't know people don't know the real thing. Both of them, both the ex-husband and the pro and the the Lady Bakari are saying different things and what um, surprised us most is that Olaide Bakari doesn't want to talk about the former marriage but it is only the husband that is actually pouring out his mind upon about what happened but Olaide Bakari is, uh, is just she's just saying that she doesn't want to talk about it since she's happy now and she has moved on with her life now let me just quickly tell you about what happened you know many people wondered what was going on on that uh, that a married woman would be on um be on honeymoon with another man when she and her husband are not officially divorced wow that is ridiculous and but her uh, ex-husband said she didn't start a promi uh, life recently he claimed she had been sleeping around for a long time you know people are just be wondering that why would someone wouldn't be officially um divorced and would further remarry another person claim that he has actually done uh um, the muslim introduction for us so it was really it was reliably gathered that that man mr olumide okonfulori that was um that was Lady Bakari's ex-husband and said Lady Bakari's level of infidelity is so bad that he's not even sure that he's the father of their first child and thus insisted that they must go for a DNA to confirm who the real father is. Then in a chat with um, some um, some people, you know, they asked him some questions and which he replied to. And one of the questions was like, your wife, like, they released a statement that she dumped you for another businessman, Mr. Tunde Oreo, because she realized that you were legally married to another wife who had given you two children, not actually single, as you told her when the relationship started. You know, um, oh, Mr. Alam, Olubi Day, Okufulure now responded and said, How could I have married two women legally in Nigeria, which is out of the law, which is not even part of the law, and it is even, it is even impossible for you to collect two certificates for different um different women it is it is impossible so he said he know said that he would have been in jail by now because there is a law that condemns such an act and how come she has not gone to the court instead of um going to the media for separation separation can only be 
from um, from the court an American government gave like the green card because she's legally married to me we had a court marriage in Nigeria also like like so that was that was um, uh, totally out of it for a man pointing out his mind and you know I don't really know we don't really know what happened because like they refuses to tell the uh, other part of the story and you know the Yoruba people normally says that um agba joini koda agba oshikani like that no worry just look for the meaning on your own so like that sha so he was she was given green card all because of this man and you know what a green card means so when she's um supposed to be a faithful wife she would leave her matrimonial home to stay with married men in lagos all in the name of being actress or career lady i couldn't monitor her because i am not always in nigeria in fact there was a time she left our baby similarly with me for eight months in america in the name of career lady i have become a nursing father and i've been trying to manage my home the way i could oh jesus christ now the question I can make is that are you insinuating she cheated on you? The man the uh, said, yes, of course. She did both in the past and now, all in the name of being a career woman. And if she is cheating on you, both in the past and now, how can you be sure of your child's paternity? So the man says that until they actually do DNA before it could confirm if the child was is or not. So, you know, a few months later, after she and her husband stopped sleeping together as husband and wife, the actress has, has put to bed a baby boy. Imagine, just a few months after they, they stopped being an husband and a wife, the wife, the Olaide Bakare put to bed of a baby boy and she's in custody of the man that she said has done has gone to perform some Islamic introduction on ah you know this is this is some of the controversial um, um, things stuff that happened that transpire between the both of them and you know it's really uncalled for it's really really uncalled for because we never expected it from ah. but anyways she said she's happy presently and she has a baby boy already for the present husband she remarried to but on my own part i think it is unfair of her doing such thing but oh, she's happy and she refused to talk to say anything concerning the past marriage like that so i think since she's happy there's no much other about that so in every of her responses in every um um contact people had with her she continues saying that she has the best marriage now she's happy and she loves what she's doing and she doesn't have anything to say to anybody regardless of whom they are and what they say so she can only be she and nothing else and she's proud of herself so that was what she said. so enough of that and let's just so she actually sent an appreciation um greetings to everyone who attended our uh, installation as the ashiwaju adini like that in lagos state this month on the 7th uh, so um she she appreciated everyone present and everyone that made the day a wonderful one for us so don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news and also if you have not um click on the notification bell you can actually do that and um to get more gist the latest of it please all from our channel. channel please subscribe please subscribe subscribe share this video subscribe to this channel tell your friends to subscribe to this